Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back, and we are let's playing Final Fantasy IX. And in the last episode, we made it here to the Forgotten Continent. And in this episode, we're going to do some chocograph hunting on this brand new continent with our chocobo. So the first chocograph we're going to be searching for is somewhere around about in this area over here. And look at that, we found it already. And opals, alright, and we get eight demons mail. Yay! Now the interesting thing about the demon mail is... Yeah, it, it raises shadow elemental attack and it absorbs shadow, e shadow elemental attack. So, uh, yeah, if you're fighting enemies that use a lot of shadow attacks and magic, then you can use this equipment to um, to absorb it, which is pretty nice. Uh, I think for now I'm not going to give it to anybody, but once Steiner learns to distract, I may give that to him. Then I'll just pass down the shield armor from Steiner to Freya, because he should know. Well, yeah. He needs to know high tide, and I think Freya already knows high tide, so she doesn't need to learn anything from the demon mail, but there you go. And yeah, those other items that I got were pretty worthless, especially that fucking card. I don't know why they keep giving me cards. Why do they even give you cards at all in these games? It's fucking retarded. Don't even get me started on the cards in fucking Final Fantasy VIII. The problem with those cards in that game is that they're actually useful. So that, that means I actually have to play the fucking card game in that game. And I hate playing card games in RPGs. I hate it. But, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, might as well get the next treasure going here, which would actually be the Dusk Plains. But before we do that, um, there's a few crack treasures we can get. Mountain crack treasures, that is. And, okay, yeah, that's one of them there. As you can see, there's a big crack in the friggin' canyon here. So, yeah, what you want to do is you want to walk over to it and feed your chocobo a dead pepper. You will peck away at the wall. And we get eye drops, a Medane's ring, a Genji helmet, and a worthless fucking card. So, whatever. Anyways, we get the Genji helm, which is butter helmet. It's got very high magic defense, and it teaches HP plus 20%. So, I'm going to equip it. It would be very nice for Steiner there. Alright. And then the next mountain crack treasure should be somewhere around about... This one's going to be harder to see, because it's just... Yeah, the crack isn't as big, but as you can see, there's kind of a crack in the wall here. So let's go ahead and feed him another dead pepper. We get a maiden prayer, a dragon's hair, gauntlets, and an Odin card. All right, let's check it out. So yeah, maiden's prayer is, I believe, where is it? Yeah, it teaches you the auto-regen spell, and it raises holy ele elemental attack, so that's basically all it does. And I guess it raises some stats as well. So not too shabby. Um, yeah, still working on that. Gauntlets. Yeah. Fire, earth, water, wind damage reduced by 50%. Wow, that's actually really good. Better than Genji Gloves. Give those to Freya. But more importantly, we get the Dragon's Hair, which teaches, well, which is much better of weapon. I think it's Freya's ultimate weapon, and she learns the Dragon Breath ability, which I'm actually not too familiar with. I remember it not being that useful. And it's a lot of magic points, so, um, I don't know. She has better abilities than that, but whatever. And as far as the last Chocograph treasure. I believe that is over here somewhere I think oh yeah okay yeah right about here we 
get some Phoenix Down, some more Orb, we don't need a Kaiser Knuckles and a Worthless Card. Yay for Worthless Cards. Either way, we get the Kaiser Knuckles, which is a much better weapon for Amaranth. We'll teach him the Countdown ability. This weapon is Wind Elemental, and it has an add status of Trouble. As far as the Countdown ability... Oh yeah, I might, might as well go over the abilities. Yeah, No Mercy I've shown off already. Curse makes the enemy weak against some elemental property. So, I don't know if that's random, or if it's fixed, or how that works. Survive is basically, I think, kind of like a full life spell. Spare changes like Gil Toss, and then Chak Chakra restores HP and MP of one party member. Uh, this ability right here is actually multi-targeting if Amaranth is in trance mode. And then we have Countdown, which uh, is basically like Kina's friggin' Blue Magic spell Countdown, or Doom, or whatever it's called. But yeah, we don't even have that Blue Magic spell yet, so if you like this ability, um, Amaranth has it, if you get his, uh, his Kaiser Knuckles, so. There you go. Yeah, I wish I had a better weapon for, for Rusty, but that's alright. So yeah, I don't have a problem with this this party here with Sedan, Rusty, Frey, and Amarin. It works pretty good. I usually go with this party when I uh, when I play this game, so I don't know any better. Works fine for me. You can get some good items, you know, through Chocobo Hot and Cold, so some weapons to take advantage uh, of in this area with these uh, these characters, so figure why not, right? So anyway, we're going to be looking for Oliver, or Oilver, or Oilvert, and it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Just got to look at the trusty map. Yeah, it'd be a lot harder to travel there if you didn't have a Chocobo. Luckily, I do. So, um... Yeah, there you go. Alright, let's explore, explore the area of Oliver. Ooh, look at that sunset. It's like the Grand Canyon. Not that I've ever been to the Grand Canyon, but I have seen pictures. Hello, little Moogle. Mimazoza, or Mimosa. So unusual to have visitors here. Please deliver my mail from Ikupo. Ooh, we get another letter. Do you have any more? Yeah, this guy has a shop that we can buy some equipment. And uh, I do want to get this equipment. Couple of these. Already have Mithril Claws. Yeah, I'll get another one of those. Alright, a fairy flute. Very nice. I'll get like four of those. Already have a couple of these. Not worried about cash. I'm just worried about whether or not, uh, well, I can synthesize stuff later on that I'm going to want to synthesize. That's why I'm buying the stuff, even though I don't, probably don't really need it. Oh, yeah, shadow damage. You know, these egoist armlets are probably going to be useful later on and uh, diamond glow yeah I'll get a couple more of those mantra meh sure ooh green beret that's a new headgear get, get some of those get a few more just for shits and giggles get a few more cross homes ooh a judo uniform that is new judo chop um I'm gonna sell these damn potions. I'm not gonna use them anyways. They're worthless. Plus, if I want to use auto potion, then they're just gonna be a liability. Because yeah, you will actually use the potions in your inventory before using the high potions. So if you try to use auto potion, if you have potions in your inventory, your characters will use the potions until they're used up, and then they will start using the high potions. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. Sounds like a plan. It's probably a good idea. Let's check out this equipment. 
pseudo uniform, eh, it's better defense, yeah, but, eh. Guess it does raise spirit, which is a little bit better than the brigandine, but, eh. I suppose, for now. Have you mastered that yet? No. So I can't equip that uh, diamond sword yet. Ooh, power break. Okay, yeah, with this trident she can learn the Luna ability, which I think I'm going to equip that for now, so she can get that out of the way. What is this ability? Causes Berserk to all targets. Hmm. Interesting. Is there, a, is there another one she had? No, just that one and that one. Okay. Well, we'll be able to steal a better spear from a boss in this area eventually, so... Freya will pretty much have all her, um... All her, um... Uh, all her crap. Like, all her abilities after this area. This must be the entrance! Well, what else would it be? Nice. Yep, let's go inside. And we get attacked on the outside? Are you kidding me? Yeah, uh, I actually forgot to mention that. Or actually, I just forgot altogether that we could get attacked on the outside. That's fine, this guy will be a joke. This is the uh, the Hall of Oliver. There's a treasure chest over here we can get. I'm going to skip that treasure chest up there for now and go directly to our right. Because I think if you wait too long, you miss freaking Stiltskin. And yeah, you want to come over here and talk to Stiltskin and buy his high potion emerald and elixir uh, before it really going around and exploring the majority of this place because I think if you don't do it after a certain point he disappears and you will miss him so definitely want to talk to Stiltskin here so he can continue his journey there's something fishy about Mognet getting fouled up what the heck is Artemision thinking well yeah he, if you remember Artemision he was that purple Moogle from earlier in Alexandria that was uh well that was um Kind of skittish about revealing why Mognet has been screwed up lately. So, I haven't received an email. What's going on? Hey, Mood. Hey, Mole. Would you go to me to Mognet Central and complain for me? I'm so mad about it, Koopo. Yeah, Mognet Central. Where is Mognet Central, huh? Well, I guess we'll be finding out where that is eventually. But. Right now, that's not really what we can be doing. Right now, our main focus is to explore this place, get a Gaia gear, which would be nice. And I do believe the majority of the enemies in this area are battles that are going to go something like this with these guys. Alright, now this guy right here is new enemy called an epitaph and if you throw a soft potion at them they will die instantly came too soft to live so yeah they're really easy I will show a battle when you uh, killing them without it but um yeah you don't get any any experience for killing them like that you just get the AP which I guess is kinda nice but that's the easy, cheap way to kill them. And out here is nothing. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. All 
there any like secret squirrel items over here? Nothing? Okay. Yeah, I'll show another one of those battles, I guess. Or not. Yeah. I should show... What the hell? Oh. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to see where doorways or passageways are in this game. It's like, fuck. Alright, I'm gonna get a Rising Sun. That's a throwing item for Amaranth if you want to use the throw command. So yeah, Amaranth is kind of like a monk-ninja hybrid type character because you can also use the throw command, but he uses claws kind of like a monk, I guess. So, that's cool. Yeah, let's not cheat and use a saw potion right now. Let's actually fight this guy straight up. Now, the best way to fight this guy, in my opinion, is to just hit him with freaking physical attacks with the stone killer ability. And yeah, he will summon doppelgangers, basically. And these doppelgangers will claim that they are the real character. And they will KO whichever freaking character they summon. Sometimes the epitaph, although it's very, really rare, uh, can summon characters that aren't in your current party. But um, it hardly matters. I'm just gonna kill the epitaph now. So if you are gonna fight this enemy this way, then can steal uh, stuff like opals and stuff like that, but I'm not too concerned about that because honestly, oh, yeah, oh, um, pain in the ass. Yeah, if you um, don't kill her off in time, then she will say, Who are you? and you will die again. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Yeah, it's it's a pain in the ass to fight him that way. You're better off just friggin' uh, throwing soft potions at him. But if you do want to get experience, then uh, then fight him like that. Then I guess I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't think I need level up on Steiner and uh, Amaranth anymore. even have level up? Well, I guess you don't. Oh, I didn't teach him level up yet? Holy crap. Oh well. Not, no biggie. Yeah, I try to keep my characters somewhat around the same level if I can. I mean, nothing's perfect in this game, so you're probably not going to have your characters all at the same level, but kind of try to keep them at least close. What did we just do? Well, we just turned that blue crystal ball red, so hopefully that affects something later on. Alright, well, only place to go now is this way, so let's check it out. Ooh. Is this a planet? Mother Terra, oh, I can't make it out. Words are talking to you. Hmm. Might need to get your head checked there, Zidane. And we get a di- Okay, we find a diamond sword. Well, whatever, that's fine. It just means I have another one in case I have to synthesize something with one of them, so... That works. Alright, and in this chest we get another shield armor. Should be pretty nice. Uh, let's see, choices, choices. Which way do we go? Let's go this way first. Oh, wait. Damn it. There we go. Nope, not a. Maybe there's a proper order to it all. Yeah, maybe. Alright, we get a power vest. Let's 
check out the power vest. Yeah, it teaches you stone killer, gamble defense, and counter, and it raises strength. So yeah, it's pretty good, I guess. Not bad defense. Learn some okay abilities from it. I'm not gonna equip it right now, but does anybody need? Does can Amaret use it? Does he need anything from it? Gamble defense, I, I suppose. Yeah, I'll give it to Amaret. Nope, nada. Yes, maybe. Aha, uh -huh, look at this. Now we get some more feather boots. Get plenty of those by now. Aha, uh -huh, worked. Ancient ship. Oldest in history. So, what's the next one? Is it this one? The ship for war. Shipbuilding technology primitive. Alright. Uh, this is the next one, I think. Battleship Invincible Prototype. Prototype Failure. Hmm. First Battleship Invincible. Improved version currently in use. Well, yeah, so that must be the invincible ship we saw earlier that Garland was on. The one that blew up Alexandria. So, uh, yeah. Then we gotta go all the way over here. Oh, well, never mind. I guess we have a new enemy here Garuda. I do believe this guy is weak to wind. Don't quote me on it. Or maybe he uses wind, I guess. I don't know. Ow. Oh. You're gonna pay for that. Very nice. Alright, I think I can give Freya back her other weapon now, her better weapon. Yeah, almost forgot about it. Gamble Defense, yeah, I don't need this one anymore. Auto Haste, Auto Reflect, yeah, still working on that stuff. Keep the Maiden Prayer alive. Angel Earring, eh. No, no, I need to uh, save that for other characters, I think. I think. Well, maybe I don't. Eh, whatever. I don't, nah. Work on something else, like freaking. Yeah, auto haste, why not? Screw it. Come on, what the fuck? Anyways, can we... Yeah, there we go. Good grief. What's going on? Whoa! Beginning of the city. At first, the city flourished. Soon began to decline. At its peak, cities all over Terra. Then the decline began. So what the heck is... Yeah, that's... Great questions, Don. Great question. Where does this go? Back over here. So yeah, it basically just loops back in on itself. 
So what we're gonna do is mosey on all the way back over here again. Come on. Alright, uh, off screen walking uh, back to this room right here and we're gonna take this door to our uh, to our upper left. In the next episode, let's play Final Fantasy IX. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.